Our next speaker is Stefan Schneider from Jena Batteries. Jena Batteries is developing water-based polymer redox flow battery. Thanks, Stefan. Thank you for introduction. Ah, very good. I will be that. I see. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stefan Schneider. I'm managing director of Jena Batteries. Uh, we are a large scale, mid scale, and large scale uh, stationary battery supplier. And our target cost is below 500 euros per kilowatt hour, which means in cycles far less than 10 cents uh, per kilowatt hour per cycle. We all have seen remarkable installations globally in the windmill and in the photovoltaic industry. You all are aware of all these numbers that we have uh, comparable investments in all over, all over the world and all regions. And what's interesting all about is that the emerging countries are as well in, uh, investing in the sector as well as the um, industry countries. And uh, 2014 was the first year that we have seen higher installation capacity than in the, in the fossil area. Either you are talking about grid stability for industry countries or arbitrage and other key uh, models in other regions. If you need a stationary battery, you have to have a battery which has the capability of independently scale power at capacity to really have low costs available. Uh, you imagine this room here with the volume, this is the capacity and basically the door is the power and the, basically the door is just a cost factor to uh, charge and recharge the battery. What you are need, really focused on is the capacity of the battery. And if you uh, calculate all the different business models, a relation between one to four to one to 10 is the appropriate number you are looking for. Of course, we're all aware of the lithium ion batteries, which are available basically for mobile applications. And they have a structural disadvantage. They cannot independently scale up capacity and power. And they have expensive materials inside as well. So they are not appropriate for the mid and large scale battery applications. Uh, whereas the vanadium redox flow batteries available since 1949, have been brought up by NASA in the 70s. Commercialization started in the 90s. And all of these currently available batteries are based on vanadium. If you take UET from China, or Sumitomo from Japan, or Dim G, uh, Mori Gildemeister from Europe, basically, they have all the problem, the electrolyte including vanadium, is too expensive. Their all-in cost factor is 2,000 uh, euros per kilowatt hours approximately. So they are also not appropriate. The system itself of redox flow battery is very nice and very, very good usable in that sector because the containers you see where the electrolyte um, is stored can independently scale up and the uh, the uh, stacks in between where you basically charge and discharge the battery can also be independently scaled up. What we have done is very simple. We have a globally patented new metal-free water-based polymer electrolyte. This is very easy to produce in the chemical industry and we will fast scale up in 2016 in combination with the large chemical corporates. In our group, we had a fast track in the development in the recent 25 months from a small uh, example, basically, in the laboratory to now the first kilowatt system available within, as I mentioned, 25 months. The patents are now in our books, uh, and we have additionally filed further ones. To be so fast, we hired people from, of course, the Redux Flow Battery community to make use of that experience, full cell manufacturers for stick design, 
lithium-ion battery manufacturers, patent lawyers, of course, because of the uh, chemical issues, especially special machinery equipment manufacturers, and the chemical industry is partially on board as well. We have strong collaborations with various institutes we're all aware of uh, in Germany as well as in France. And we are really heavily supported by the federal state of Thuringia, by the Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy in Berlin, and we're currently applying for a European project. Our product range we are heading for, you see here on the slide, basically you see that we are talking about capacities starting from 40 kilowatt hours, but basically we are focusing on uh, the bottom line you see here with a one megawatt hour to the 10 megawatt hours. In the current financing round, we are just uh, focusing on installation, this first uh, commercial available product. We have the customer already on board. And uh, in, in, in 2016, to give you the very last slide, we are doing and we are going to further deepen the relationships with these five different verticals to accelerate uh, market penetration. Uh, that's the summary. We are environmental Benin, we are locust material, and we are independent scalable. If you have any further questions, you'll find me in the booth here next door. Thanks.